Hey guys, it's Mia here, and welcome to episode 13 of the D&D podcast video. Last time on D&D, we saw our heroes dwell into an old burial ground of a previous dragon slayer to claim her sword in the hopes that it would help us defeat the dragon that we are going to face. But as they were leaving the compound, they see the dragon flying towards Fandolin. So our heroes race off to try and intercept the dragon before it can do damage to the town that they've been calling home. What will happen next? Let's get into this and find out. When you arrive at Fandolin, you arrive past nightfall. It is 9 o'clock p.m. Your horses are exhausted. You find that the town is full of ice. There is ice accumulating on the windows. Several roofs have been smashed in. And you see, um, you see piles of blood in some places. You see one woman looking at a defiled corpse that was torn to shreds. Uh, you see Tolbin's wife at the head of the, of the mansion, hugging her two children while there is a, a random leg in front of them. You see that a Dabra's shop has been smashed in. I guess I'm gonna go to the lady with the corpse, I guess. As you go to the lady of the corpse, uh, you see the uh, you see the centaur that you befriended before come uh, come out of the tavern. He is consoling the the Tolvin's wife and his children. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> the dragon! The dragon attacked! All right. The dragon well, attacked us in the day, in the morning. We weren't expecting it to just show up out of the mountains. Where are you, adventurers? I lean over to Scarlet and I said, "Shall I?" activate my disguise. I'm not sure if this is a good time or not. I'm just frozen looking at the broken but lighted up village having flashbacks of oh. what happened at home. Oh, you're not home. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Pigeon. James. Uh, yeah, what? Sorry. <laughs> uh, PTSD kind of looks the same back home. Just less That's nice. Good. Does anyone here have PTSD here? Probably, yeah. What's up? We what? Uh, should I activate my illusion spell? Because I'm not Buddy, sure. No, I don't think anybody cares right now. Oh, okay, sweet. I walk up towards midnight so I can uh, listen to the conversation. I want to look over to the town master's house. Town master's house, you see that the bell tower that is on top of the town master's house um, has been knocked over, but for the most part, the building is still standing. It's just that one part of the, of the building. Wow. Looks like the dragon knew to take out the warning as soon as possible. I walk up to the- I want to walk up to the town master's house and knock on it. You walk up to the town master's house? <laughs> is, the dra- is the dragon gone? Is it gone? I don't know. I I don't see it anywhere. Did you hear it roaring off in the distance as after the attack? I, I don't know. I've, I, I've kept inside my house. I heard the roaring and the screaming and then right the tower you- collapsing. Well, right now, you need to get every member of this town that's that's remaining into the temple immediately. Uh, we do, the ta- you never cleared the temple. There's nowhere for us to go. Not that temple. The shrine that you have in town. The shrine. Oh, yes. The church. Yes. yes. That is, uh, Start that is getting everyone should, there to safety. You should it's, stone, it's stone structure will be able to withstand a lot more than your wooden buildings. I cannot, I cannot stay here. You, you might leave, leave them, please. I, I am too scared to come out. No, no, no. Oh, no, thank you. God. Well, I guess we really should have dealt with the, with the stronghold first. Anyway, I walk over, I want to walk over to the wife holding the two kids in the centaur. Is the dragon ah, yes. still here? No, the centaur looks at you. He's like, no, the centaur has left far into the mountains from whence it came to the south. Well, not all of the town's completely destroyed. Why didn't it come eviscerate the entire town on the first go? It's, it's, um, it's, not as, it's not as big of a dragon as, as the sightings proclaimed. We were able to fend it off, but unfortunately it did take some of... It took Adabra uh, hostage and, and uh, Tobin. So now all that's... We don't know if Tobin will survive. If you, if you and your adventurers rescue him, then the bar will stay open. But until then, it looks like... The, his wife and 
his two children are gonna have to run it from now on. The, the children are crying, um, they're in tears, um, holding on to their mother, and their mother is just in shock. She doesn't know what to do. I want to walk go walk over to Bartholomew and the Scarlet. Okay, guys. Right now, the dragon seems to be gone, left back to its lair, but. I really think we should deal with that fortress as soon as possible to get these people safe. What fortress? There's a fortress, I just be I believe, west of here? In all honesty, I think we should probably should have assessed that first so, when they ev so they could evacuate the town as soon as the dragon got here. Minimize God, casualties. We had no way of knowing that the dragon was going to attack when it did, though. That's true, that's true, that's true. And what's to stop the dragon from attacking the sa stronghold the same way? Well, the stronghold is specifically designed for attacks. From a dragon, though? Well, from what we can gather from his sources, it was actually a small dragon. The townspeople themselves were able to hold them, them off, but that was because there was some, there was, I'd say, forces like a centaur helping them, and, but the structures they had here weren't very equipped, very, weren't equipped at all for the, for a siege. This fortress was designed for a siege, the same kind a dragon could do. Nonetheless, right. these people are not safe in these above-ground houses. At least the stronghold has some subterranean defenses that these people can hide in until the dragon's gone. We could take them back to the caves. The gnome caves? Yeah. I rather would take them that to is the stronghold. Another... Well, considering we did probably kill a lot of them, it should be safe. <laughs> well, that's not what I mean. They'll find out that more than one person What's was... What's in the stronghold? Nobody read what? the quest to me. Embedded in the mountains um, south of Pandolin is the ancient dwarven fortress of Axholm, which has been sealed for years. If a dragon attack is imminent, the people of Pandolin can evacuate and take refuge in Axholm. To that end, someone needs to open the fortress and make it safe for habitation. Once you accomplish these tasks, return to Townmaster West, uh, Town Master Wester to collect a reward of 250 gold pieces. I specifically recommended that first. Okay. I'll go speak with the Townmaster then. I'm gonna go. I'll help look for survivors. I'm gonna go start yeah. trying to get wagons and stuff together Gondola. to help them e export. Uh, I'm gonna follow Scarlet. Am I at the town master? Okay, I wanna knock on the door. Hey, moron! Oh, yes? <laughs> what is it? Is it back? No, it's not back. Do you remember the. Do you, do you have any recollection of, uh, the stronghold? Do you know where it is? Do I know where it is? Uh, uh, I, uh, mm, let me check my papers real quick. Okay, just slow down there, buddy. <laughs> Hyperventilating is not slowing down. Can someone get this man a napkin. He's searching his, his, his um, maps Look, frantically. I don't busy. need you to know exactly where it's at. I just need you to know if you know where it's at. I just need to know if you know where it's at. He's pouring over his map because he's like, he can't remember the general direction. He's still um, flabbergasted with the dragon attack. It, it is, it is south, south of here. Yeah, all right, cool, good job. If we go open that, I need you to get your people over there. Well, obviously, we'll come back, but that's not okay, the point. Well, all, all right, if you, if, you, if you believe this is the right course of action, but I don't know what we'll do if the dragon attacks us again. Well, you'll have a fortress this time. Oh, what if he attacks while you're gone? Well, then you're dead. <laughs> and you just hear something slam on the floor. What was that? You hear nothing but silence. Down, master? There's nothing but silence. Can I strength check <laughs> kick in the door? You take your foot and you, you stick your claws into the door and you pull it off of its hinges with your foot and chuck it into the wreckage of a, of a torn down building behind you. And you find a small little man passed out on the floor. I want to make sure he's breathing. You check his pulse and from what you can tell, he is not breathing. Scott! I come running in. What? What happened? What? Check his pulse. I think he's dead. What? How, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I might have scared him, but I didn't do anything. Uh, okay, I'm gonna medicine check. You, 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 you know he's not breathing. Uh, can I try CPR? All right, you you flip him over, and you you start pumping his chest. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you give him a little bit of mouth to mouth, and you're able to. He and then he wakes up. <gasps> and wakes back. And wakes back up. Easy, easy, easy. Wait. What are, what are you doing? What are you in my house? Is it's gone. Breathe. No, the dragon is not here. We came in because. We're gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. Who are you? I'm the bird. And I'm Scarlet. You're Scarlet. I don't know murderer. anything about a bird. Bartholomew. What is... <laughs> You're a bird? Yeah, I'm a bird. Forgive me, I never thought that you would 
you'd be a beard. Hmm, maybe if you came out of your house. Hey, play nice. I, I, I can't, I can't do that. But for mercy, shut the door before the dragon comes back. It's okay. It's over. Just, the door's just, gone. Just breathe. What did you do with the door? We had to get in. Out of my way. You almost died. Wait. What am I? I, I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, you know, I, I'm, se I'm 73 years old. The, the stress really gets to me. All right, well, I'm going to stress you out less. We're going to save you and your people by going and getting that stronghold. Mm -hmm. And then we will escort you back. Uh, uh, okay, all right. Yes, I like that. I like that plan. You do? Good. I'm glad you like it. What if the dragon, what if the dragon attacks again? We'll protect you as best we can. You have two options, buddy. Either you let the rest of the living town folk in here with you, or y'all go sit in the shrine. I mean, maybe we should. I'll get the I'll get the the men together and try to take the women and children and the villagers into the shrine. No, you yes. need to rest. You did just wake up from nearly dying. Well, if if you would like to do it for me, I can. Do we get paid? I I don't know yet. I'm not entirely sure what what to do currently. Let's. Can, could you please just do this of goodwill? Sure. Yeah. I will exit the building and go meet up with uh, Clarion. I'm gonna keep making sure he's okay and planning getting stuff All right. out. Can I go talk to him, see if I help out? My uh, murder, my thing should be can be lifted. So I walk into the house. Uh, okay. Who, hey, who, are, who are you? Who are you? Wait, you don't know? No, should I? What is your name? My name is Amalwork Joyce. I go by the name Shadow. Joyce, Joyce. I'm just Joyce, looking back Joyce. and forth between the two. <laughs> Joyce sounds familiar. Are you perhaps related to a Jason Joyce? Yes, that's my father. Oh, well, shit. What do you know? <laughs> He's helped our town out a lot in the past. Um, hmm, I wonder what ever happened to him. I don't know. I'll, we're cur I'm currently on a mission looking for him, but for right now, I'll take a look at the place he saved once before. But I do have a question to ask you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you see, I am kind of charged with murder, and um, oh, and you seem kind of like slowly step away. Oh no no no! It's it's not. It, it's it was by accident. I swear. Murder is not usually by a accident. Um, sure. Yes, when you have to, when it comes to self defense. Point being is now going into detail. Um, I am kind of charged with murder around this at this part, so I was wondering if I'm with them. You're the most recent murderer. And he kind of like looks around I'm and not... doesn't really see an exit other than the one you're currently blocking. Sir, sir, just please calm down, okay? I'm the least of your worries since you have a dragon problem. Yeah, well, I mean, currently you're standing in front of me and not the dragon, so uh, you kind of what am I? I mean, where is your name? I won't yeah, let him and I could have killed. Yeah, and I could have killed you right in the spot, but I didn't. Point B. Uh, uh, <laughs> sir, just calm down, okay? It was a joke. It's fucking you, you see him begin to like hyperventilate. Sir, just sure, calm down, okay? <laughs> Look, I'm with them, okay? Um, I was wondering if I help out with the, the whole uh, cleaning the. Whatever the f fuck thing is, honestly, I ain't paying attention to half of the shit that's going on. If I help out, can you do something about lifting the charges? I, I, uh, uh, uh he kind of looks over at the rubble from the tower, which has completely destroyed all of his files for everything in the city. I can't really do anything th th thing for you right now. Um, uh, he kind of starts hyperventing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, but, uh, mm -hmm. yes, sir, calm down, okay? Look. <laughs> sir, I'm sir, 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 chill the F out. I'm not gonna hurt you. Can you at least try, okay? I know right now it's not possible, but it's impossible. Can you at least try? Kind of like looks at the door that you're blocking, looks back at his table, kind of looking around the room for like any kind of weapon you could possibly use to say, well, I could, I could certainly uh, try. Okay, that's all I want to know. Thank you very much, okay, sir? And don't freak out, okay? 
Because honestly, you couldn't beat me. You can't kill me even if you wanted to. Shut the right, fuck well, up. Harbin, Harbin Wester, um, as you say that, gets a heart attack. God damn it, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Can I perform CPR again? No, can, can I save him? Because if no, I save him, you oh. stay the fuck no, away from him. All right, you successfully give him CPR. He's now I'm gonna shove the angel's dumbass point. out the fucking door. Right before the dude opens his eyes, Scarlet just roundhouse kicks Shadow in the chest, knocking him out the door and making him fall prone on his ass. Damn I wonder that you. I wonder that how. You know exactly what you did, you fucking moron. As, Sh as Shadow does that, you see Joker. He kind of like helps the family back into the tavern. But as he's doing that, around Claren and Bartholomew are three puffs of smoke. Three men in red robes come to them. And uh, one of them comes up to uh, Clarion, uh, one who has a very um, slithery kind of sound. Um, you can kind of see the glint of some of some black scales underneath underneath his cloak. You called? Yes. So we have a slight dilemma on hand. It's a yes. little more than slight. We have a few options ahead of us. One, we focus on the white dragon that is in its icy castle just south. Yes, I know the exact location south of here. It shows the uh, a magical sword we possess showed us the location of the dragon's lair. We know exactly where it is as well as the possible relic that we see for the gen to die, which the dragon has in its possession. But considering it's just simply a young white dragon, we still desire assistance in achieving it at a much swifter pace. Yes, I see. However, there is another error on our ta on our table that has occurred to us. The person you who was Gilgert. Supposed, you were supposed to handle the situation. Yes. Well, unfortunately, as you can see, my guest you're around of, the situation has escalated beyond my control. The small elf has a point. The other situation that has arised, I thought the being known as Yogurt had left town and was not an, was not going to be a nuisance. It proves that there could be a possible annoyance with Midnight and this Yogurt character who's currently in town at the moment. No, what are you proposing? Would you? My first question is: Do you think you could take Yogurt alive, or would you, or even be able to kill him right now as you are? We might be able to do such a thing. It's too risky with mites, given his history of what you've told me. A mite is too risky right now. It has come to my conclusion that the tar that the other target is a possible liability to us, and as such, should be dealt with. However, it would prove probably more tactful to wait until after we we achieve the item from the dragon, when the target is more able to be dealt with. If you catch what I mean. I see. So what I propose here is me and the group that I am, that me and this birdman, which I was failed to be informed he was also a member of ours. You're welcome. Yes. Well, this one likes to do things according to his own accord. Last I checked, no one does anything to their own accord in the Gen Jedi. Anyway, my best so option. have an army. My plan. I was just saying, he comes when he is higher rank of you than you. I, I, I look over to Bartholomew and I'm like, I roll my eyes in acceptance, fire, whatever. My plan is that me and the group we are with will secure the dragon's defeat and, upon, and before we attack the dragon, you and some outside sources will come and assist us with the dragon attack. Then, as a combined fight, we will deal with all possible liabilities to the order in one fell swoop and achieve the relic you see. Three birds with one stone. Hey! Sorry. Three scaled lizards with one stone. Hey! Fine. Three very rambunctious, very annoying insects. I don't know. Squirrels. Hi, you squirrels. You, you hear one of the hooded figures go behind you? Hey! Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I literally stomp the ground, it's like, you know what I mean! She's a fucking elf! Okay. Anyway, I, I take a deep breath and I just put my head, put my face to, put my hand to my face and then go, <sighs> Does that sound like a plaque? Mm, 
Yes. Very well. I shall sum I shall request your presence once again upon upon our journey to the lair. And then you will meet us there. Alright. And then as he says that, you see three puffs of smoke as they poof away. As if they never were there. Alright, Angel's still outside, right? I'm just gonna make sure he can get back in. But what the fuck happened? First, the poor dude passed really? out because he was freaked out because of the dragon. And then Shadow, right after I revived him, came in and started talking about often the old man. So I had to give him oh. another CPR. And then I knocked him on his ass for being a dumbass. Oh, I see. Also, that glares at Shadow. Fucking dumbass. You can only get forgiveness so many fucking times. Is he all right? The old man Me? or Shadow? Oh, man, not you. I don't care if you're all right. You need to be in pain. Don't even fucking get up. I got him. Bitch. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna kill him. I, I, I'm all right. Thank you for asking. Why was Shadow giving old people heart attacks? He 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 threatened me with his uh, murder. Ah, I see. So. He was rambling on, I've never seen this buffoon before, but he was just like, well, I am a murderer, and if you don't uh, um, write that off as if it didn't happen, I'll murder you, and, uh, I got <laughs> Wanted man 101, don't tell people you're a murderer. Well, I thought you already knew. You, you, this whole town knows. Well, they probably wouldn't know if you were the fucking... Never mind. We just saw but... Anyway, can you just go... Okay. I'm getting a migraine. Looking at you. I will go right now, but just to be clear, I did not say it, but I said I was charged. Yeah, just, in the future, don't tell people you're a murderer. No, I didn't. Then you don't even know what they're talking about. Don't flaunt it. Don't flex it. Don't wear it around like a badge of honor. Ah, I was not because I was confused. Who needs to understand the situation? Just tell me yes and walk away, sir. And also, I that think that's not what I said. I said tell me yes and walk away. None of those were yes. Go watch the horses. I the my Yes, sir. Yes, bitch. And I'll walk away. I'll 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 deal with that. Anyway, continue, Scarlet. What? I didn't say anything. Oh. Anyway, old dude. What are we trying to get out of this old dude? You just trying to make sure he's alright, right? right? Yeah. He's fine? Yep. You good? You Gucci? Oh yeah, the old man. You good? Yeah, I I'll be alright. Thank you for uh but it's just to be oh, two heart attacks in one day. Right. Uh, make sure this dude sit in the chair. Let's get him in a chair or something. Mm -hmm. I might have to put up a quest board for someone to either escort me to, to Neverwinter or escort a doctor to Fan Fanland. Ooh. There might already be one here with all the attacks. I wanted to issue a group convo. Like, I'm pulling everyone towards me. Everyone is with you. Everyone. I have a plan. And we must be swift if we are to deal with this dragon before any further damage or risk could come to Fandolin. I agree. What's your plan? Okay, so, we know of a fortress south of here a, that's, quote, a dwarven fortress. Meaning, hopefully, there's at least some remnants of anything, but the quest says we need to clear it out and make it habitable. So, that's most likely meaning that it needs to be cleaned out of possible threats. Mm -hmm. What we do know is that there are dwarves in a mine that we just recently went to. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone looks towards Scarlet. I, I just look towards Scarlet and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, uh, we went to that cave. Um, mm -hmm. Listen, there are dwarves there. If we can get them to come to the people of Vandalin, they can further help in the fortressing, for fortifying of the fortress to defend them from a dragon attack. That does make a lot of sense. Okay. Well, uh, everyone with me still? Everyone with me still? Another two days to this trip. I agree okay. with this if Shadow does not talk to the first. Hold on. So, what I'm suggesting is a majority of the group here, of us, will go to the fortress and will be on their way to the fortress, taking with them the rest of the rest of the townspeople. Reason being, because they have illustrated several times of the risk of the dragon attacking, and it is very possible that the dragon could attack this place again. It didn't do a good job finishing it off. It could be back to finish it. Risky to split up as well. But why don't we just send Jockey back with a note? Oh. We can't guarantee that they'll, that they'll approve of it. Armin Wester. He's resting uh, in inside. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Before can we before we do this, my old meal, let's come up with a final plan. Splitting up is a bad idea. What if we send yogurt over to the mine? Why send yogurt? He has nothing to do with our party. I can ask, I can ask him to help us out. 
Okay, so minute, go do, go do, go do that real quick. Go do that real quick. See if he'll do that. Can find yogurt. Talk to him. So Bartholomew, send yogurt to go get the doors, and we head over to, and the rest of the group will start taking the townspeople with us towards the fortress. Okay. No. Why? We'd be putting the people in danger. Well, they'll also be in danger if the dragon comes back, and then they're all dead. I would rather leave them here. Bringing them with us just puts too much pressure on us. We need to focus on our objective. And let's clear it out. And if there's an army of fucking orcs over there, they're gonna go for the people. Yeah. Then do you, where do you, where could we put them in the meantime? Just in the temple? In the temple? Leave them here? Um, what if we what if we sent them to the dwar- to the mines with the dwarves? The, what the would be the point of sending them to the dwarves just to bring them back? I'm just saying, trying to keep the people safe. Putting them on open road with no defense. Well, we cleared the way to it originally. Doesn't mean nothing I comes back. See it. Midnight. What were you gonna say? Nothing. My idea is stupid. <laughs> we caught it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So it looks like we're at an impasse. It, um, what's the group say? I have no idea. I mean. All in favor of having the townspeople come with us, that way they can immediately go into the fortress when we clear it out. Say, uh, raise your can, hand. Can I say something to you real quick, sir? Go go ahead, Shadow. Do you honestly think that's a good idea? I mean, I could wear the mask like uh, Midnight suggests, but what happened if one of them get a quick glance at me? Because you, right now... Dude. I highly doubt at the current situation we are in, they will risk... They don't have the strength or, or forces to arrest you, you I don't numbskull. Think that's on the top priority on their mind right now. Just disguise yourself as someone else. No, okay, no, yeah, look, I'm just Dude, saying. Dude, if you want, you can pretend to be my twin. I don't give a shit. Oh, I could look like you? I could we do that. We should go without them. I could do that, but that can only last for an hour. Yeah, only do that when uh, you feel like, uh, I don't know, people are going to recognize you. I think most people that would recognize you are fucking dead. And you I already told the town master. Just go without them. Shadow, don't fucking worry about shit about that. The town's master house that had all of the stuff that they could accuse you of was destroyed anyways. They don't have evidence on you oh. for shit. All right, good enough for me. Let's do this. Awesome. Now, Thank anyone you. that wants to take the townspeople with us, raise your hand. I raise my hand. I look at Scarlet to see if it's In a way, I agree with both of you, so I don't really know what I want to do because I agree with Bartholomew that taking him with us, leaving them defenseless on the road is a bad idea and like he said they could be turned and attacked on our attack but again if we leave them here the dragon might come back but the dragon never came back to Coney Mary? Coney Mary. Yeah because the entire just, town was destroyed. Exactly. There was nothing to come back to. True. Do you know that? Uh, at least what I think I it would be too dangerous to take people with us because what if they just get away? Wait. That's true. Well, it, looks, just, well, it looks like a majority of the group has decided to leave them here, so we will leave them here. Can we at least agree that leaving them in the temple is the safest decision, considering it's completely made of stone? Yes, yeah. and there might be caverns underneath the temple. There usually mm-hmm. are. So, it's not necessarily a temple, it's more of a shrine. It is a very small shrine. It is, it is just for the goddess of luck. It was very hastily built. It's not like a, it's not like a cathedral. It's like a, it's like a small Catholic church. Can we investigate to see what what buildings are still standing and which ones look the strongest? You can, t- uh, from what you can tell, I mean, all the buildings. These are our log buildings. We'll gather everyone in the tavern and they just wait there and pull out. Yeah. Make the, but make sure they take out all the all the town lights. Make the town seem abandoned. Mm-hmm. While midnight's talking to yogurt, I want to bring, I guess, rummage through the tavern barrier and see what we can use. That's so why I walk away, I say, Bartholomew, I guess you should stay with the horses and keep them ready to go. Hurry it up. Okay. I want to go to Abra's and see if there's any surviving potions or clues to where she was but, taken. You go to Adabra's and all you see is the house is in shambles. It is destroyed. All of her potions are pretty much destroyed and shattered um, where her kind of alchemy little area was set up. Um, you were able to find four regular health potions and one potion of greater healing. Well, I'm going to collect those then. Could I use one of my flasks I got? Ooh. 
to try and collect the rest of the potions that are all over the floor. You're able to put various liquids into the flasks. You're able to put, um, you're able to coll- uh, collect some blue liquid dripping off the counter, some green liquid from the uh, from the remaining plants, um, some red li- and yellow liquid from some shrooms, and that's pretty much all you were able to get. Um, you don't know what any of these are, but you do have them. Well, then I'm going to leave and help Bartholomew with the horses. I've been chilling, hiding near Bartholomew, just minding my own business, so I'm causing more stress in the group. I'm going to find yellow. You last saw him at the tavern, so you go to the tavern. So midnight, you come in and you see a very sad, distraught scene. You see the mother, in t- you see the, the, the wife in tears, you see the children in tears. They don't know what to do. Um, you see uh, the centaur kind of cleaning up and trying to, trying to get everything figured, you know, trying to get, move some of the rubble away. Yogurt is, con- is, is trying to comfort them. Um, Kind of just patting her on, on the, rubbing her the back, uh, rubbing her back, consoling her. He sees you walk in with sadness in his eyes. So, you have returned, I see. Yeah. Uh, I have a quest to make of you. Are you free mm-hmm. to talk? I rather not speak. This mm-hmm. He turns to the to the woman. Vivian, may I take uh, my friend into my room? She nods. She says. That's fine. That's fine. And so he takes you to the to the back. Mm-hmm. What is it you needed to tell me? Mm-hmm. So me and my party are trying to get a safe place situated, but they're worried that the town will be attacked by a gun. And so we're gonna go clear out a stronghold of people. Mm-hmm. And we need somebody to go call for help. With. Mm, all right. Where is it that you need me to go? Have you heard of a place called Mountain? I have. I have heard the people talk about it. Mm. Do you know where it's located? I don't, off the top of my head. I am so very new to these parts. Oh. Well, I'm sure I can find you there. But would you, how would you feel going there by yourself on one of our horses and getting them to help the people of Vandalin? Never stop the people of Vandalin. Never know. Great. You know, this place, even though it's not as destroyed as other things, it brings back unpleasant memories. Ah, yes. Well, it is still dark. Who knows what the extent of the damage is? We are still finding bodies as we speak. Sure you are. Well, when you get the chance, probably very soon, we would like that help. I will set foot first thing in the morning. Oh, right yes. now, I must help Vivian in her time of need. Alright, of course. I'm gonna go back to my group. I wish you luck with their comfort. Of course. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the and all. So, you two walk back, and he begins to help Vivian again. And then you head back to the group. Alrighty, I would like to go into the tavern. You see the, from, um... As you enter, you see there's a big old hole in the wall. Um, the whole counter and area where they store the drinks is covered in rock and rubble. Um, your centaur friend, I don't know if any of you asked for his name before. Yeah, he's currently tending to trying to clean up and get things moved. Uh, he also worries about the family. He uh, came right in right before the dragon attack, so he feels um, very Got devastated. It. So I'd like to walk up to Yogurt and be like, were you communicated to by midnight? <laughs> that I was. I look down towards him and scoff and then start to look away. I know we may have our differences, but it is it is still a joint desire for this to not see this town be reduced to rubble. As tiny as it is, it isn't it isn't a real annoyance for us. Annoyance? Annoyance, you say? These yes. people that we're attached to were. Well, I'd still I like call to that not. More than annoying. I mean, the town itself isn't much annoying. In fact, it's quite grown on me. So, it's a joined effort, I hope you know, to ha- to make sure that this town does not perish. Anyway, I expect you'll be arriving soon to the Dwarves when, when you can, and having them come here to escort the people to the fortress. 
Yes, I will I leave first thing in the morning. Lovely. Glad we're agreed on that. And I start to walk away towards the bar area. All right, and you walk over towards the bar area, and you see that it is just covered in sh- it, it's just covered in rubble. Um, you see the moonlight shine through uh, from the hole in the in the rubble. There's nothing I can salvage or attempt to salvage. You're not able to find anything. There's no. All the bottles are smashed. You see the gold liquid of of the heaven's nectar stained on the floor. Can I attempt to salvage it? You see that there is a hand just kind of sitting in it. You would probably end up with an STD if you tried salvaging this. Go to the individual room, see if anyone's in the rooms, and if not, see if there's anything in the rooms I can take to use. You see that no one else is staying at the inn. Um, They could have either left in terror or have been eaten, you don't know. But you do find uh, Yogurt's room. I'd like to go into it. All right, you go into the room and you see that for the most part, I mean, other than the shattered window and some ice um, around the windowsill, um, it is a pretty barren room. It's very simple. You see a little knapsack in the corner and um, a bed uh, with a little damp wetness to it. Um, Bully wugs are slimy. I'd like to look in the knapsack. You find in the knapsack um, a little pocket change of gold, maybe like 20 gold pieces. Um, you see... A little frog totem with a little jewel inside it. You you know that this is a, a keepsake for, for the Bullywug. Three days worth of rations. If that's the last room, then I would like to go into each of the buildings and look for their gold reserves. You have the equivalent you have found the equivalent of eighty five gold pieces. So you're gonna go through the Barthens provisions. When you go up to it, the door is locked, so you can't really enter it. Um, it is very late at night. So there's a good chance that the dude is probably asleep. I'd like to knock on the door. And you hear him kind of begrudgingly get up. Like, and he walks out the door and he's, and he's, he's like, we're closed. I don't care. You need to get to the tavern right now with the rest of the townspeople. It's too dangerous to be here. What do you mean? Like the tavern is built the same way like the other buildings. It makes that safe. It's just safer for y'all to move in groups. The group of adventurers I'm with are planning on going to the fortress. And that way we're going to clear out the fortress. We're going to clear out the fortress for you guys, and the dwarves are going to come soon, within the next day, hopefully, to come escort you guys. But they need to be able to find everyone. Mm. Well, I'll be in town, but I'll make I'll talk with Harbin Wester to see what we can do to get everyone ready. When do you expect the dwarves to arrive? Probably tomorrow night. All right, we'll, we'll have everyone ready to go by then. But right now we're closed, and I'm going back to sleep. Damn it. Alrighty, I'm gonna move on to the next door. You then go to Lion Coster, and uh, you're trying to steal their gold again. You come up to Lion Coster, and you see a uh, one of the walls has collapsed. I go in through that, that way. Yeah, you see it's pretty frozen inside. You see one of the town's people attending to an older woman who owns the shop. Both of her legs seem to be missing. She looks at you and she's like, I, I don't know if you're expecting me to sell you anything right now, but I, I don't know if you know, but she looks down back at her legs and back at you. No, it's not the time. Well, shit. Here, let's get you to the tavern quickly. There's me- there's people there that are medically experienced that can help you. Uh, all right. Yes, I'm going to help the two all right. to the tavern. All right, you go and the old lady is kind of being like, oh, such a nice boy. You're so so nice where were you with the dragon attack you could probably say that dragon you know my grandson and she keeps rambling on and on and on and on and that's very, um, that's very sweet my lady but unfortunately i was with a group of adventurers trying to get a sword to kill the dragon now okay. we ha- yes now the group that i'm with we have to go to the fortress and clear it out so all of you have a safe place to stay so you're gonna fight the dragon and 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 get revenge revenge yes and you I smile, the sh- just I smile. like shut up ma Yes, I smile at her very sweetly. I'm like, yes, me and my friends will deal with the dragon, and soon you'll be able to rest easy at night again. Mm, that is great. I love this idea. Revenge! Lovely. <laughs> Revenge! I, le- I leave the tavern, go back to the lion's, lion's keep. Uh, one of the guards is patrolling the town, kind of going through and making sure everyone's okay. He sees you, he's like, all right, are you all right? Yes, but I think there's a lady near the tavern that needs help. Her legs are missing. Mm, yes, okay. Uh, I'll go check on her in a little bit. And he walks off. I head into the store and I quickly look for anything valuable. You find anything too valuable. I mean, it looks like all the product has been pretty much destroyed. The dragon has frozen it over and definitely messed with everything's durability. Um, what you do find is uh, her counter is 
half intact, and one of the drawers is uh, filled with, you find 94 uh, silver. Awesome. I go to the group. Well, Clarion, uh, I see you're finally back. Are you ready to move, or are you Yeah, I had stealing? to take a shit. Not an idiot, Clarion. It's all right. He's able to fool you in the, with the jingling. You can't hear the coins, but Clarion has a pretty good intuition of what he was doing for the past hour. It is 11 p.m. I guess that we should day. rest and then... Wow, well, since Clarion took so long, I need a nap. Okay, I okay. want to give you and... That might work for timing, anyways. <laughs> Rather uh, leave in the morning, anyway. Bartholomew and Clarion, I want to give you guys something. it night. It would have been ten at night. <sighs> Covers Clarion's mouth. What were you saying? I, I have two health potions for both of you. Ah. It's... So I'm going to give two health potions each to Bartholomew and Clarion. So they have two health potions now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What watch are you going to take, Scarlet? I'll take first watch. All right, I'll join you then. So you all decided to take a full rest. It is now 7 o'clock in the morning. The sun has risen. There was no dragon attack. You see the Bullywug um, come up to you, and he's like, Hmm? All right, I, just, I, I need to leave for this mountain's to gold mine. Um, Vivian has told me where it is. I think I know the way. Uh, Mindai, you said I could use a horse? You're gonna have to talk to, uh, Birdman. Cause he said something about using his horse. I don't know. Yeah, take the dead one. <laughs> the dead one? I don't think a dead one is gonna get me anywhere. Look at him. I point- I point over- I just silently point over to the- to the skeleton <laughs> horse. He looks at the skeleton <laughs> horse and he's like, Oh! oh hello! Skinny boy. Mm -hmm. Jackie. Take mm -hmm. care of him. You are a good horse, Jackie. You know, just replies to them. I can see that, seeing how it doesn't have any uh, lungs, muscles, uh, less wind resistance, skin. Uh, yes, very less wind resistance. <laughs> are you insulting my horse? I am no, not she... insulting your horse. I am calling out to all of its perks. It is a very nice horse. Just yet. You are smooth, Mick Jockey. It's very smooth. Please stop talking. Mm -mm. So he hops on smooth Mick Jockey. He's like, "All right, I will be back with the dwarf soon." <laughs> and he goes off and he rides uh, Mick Jockey into the into the sunrise. Clarence on a horse. Okay. Uh... Shadows on a horse. Mia and Midnight are on a horse. So why did you let Shadow use your horse? You know, so I can keep an eye on you. <laughs> keep an eye on me. You're afraid Harvard. I'm gonna run out on you. And there was no way I was gonna have your brother except with you, because you guys would probably be arguing the whole time. And then there's I don't know what's going on with that other guy, but so you don't trust the other? Is that what you're saying? No, he's just every color of the rainbow. Right now, I don't know what color he is. As you guys are making your way hastily through um, the terrain to get to where you need to go. You're about two hours in, and a brown bear comes out of you. <laughs> Rage. We're going to fly over to that beautiful biatch. I do want to use reckless attack. Straight ahead. All right, you hit it. It is pissed. It's like, it's just gonna, it's just mad at you. I activate magic missile. The darts kind of just and they um, move around Bartholomew and just hit it. One in the side, one in the leg, one in the head, and it's just bleh, it's just mad. I'm gonna take my horse, I'm going to go around uh, in a clockwise position to sort of get to the right side of the bear so I can cast Ray of Frost directly at it without hitting Bartholomew. All right, so you cast Ray of Frost, and it just kind of freezes over. I'm gonna take out my longbow and I'm gonna fire at it. I move to the left of me with the horse. I want to pull the arrow back. I want to aim it straight for his eye and put it right to his head. As you pull your arrow back and you aim for his eye, and as he's getting pelted with magic missiles, then Bartholomew is grabbed onto it with his bird claws. You then take your arrow, you let it fly, and it just soars through the air and just gets it right in the eye, and it just makes a loud roar and then falls to the ground. And now, it is can I have my arrow back? Dead. Loot the body. It's a pelt. Well, we could skin the body. You attempt, you attempt to try to, to get that bear pelt in the meat, but you just accidentally butcher it. Your knife just goes uh, too deep, so there's too much meat chunks in the fur, and um, 
you realize you don't have any salt to preserve the meat, so the meat's just gonna rot. Well, I could turn it, we could turn it into a stew. You were able to, um, the parts of the pelt where there's too much meat and blood in it, you were able to just cut that off and you were able to preserve the rest of the pelt. So you about have like half of a, of a bear's pelt. You were able to successfully pull out the teeth and the claws. You now have a claws and teeth that you can go sell. And I would like to take some, uh, take some of the small bones. Oh, we're able to collect some small bones of your choosing. All right. As after your attack with the bear, the rest of the track, or I'm sorry, the rest of the trek passes without incident. Though cool winds and rain blowing in from the sword coast make the trip far from pleasant. Thrust out from the base of a dark gray mountain is the entrance to the Dwarven Fortress, a dark 15-foot wide passageway flanked by 40-foot high bulwarks of smooth, seamless stone. An iron portico is covered with rust blocks to the entrance. Arrow slits carved into the bulwark are dark, revealing no hint of occupation. Bartholomew, you sent yeah. Fly over the wall. You spot numerous stone chimneys protruding from the mountainside. Can I fit? You you can see that actually that pretty much all of you can fit. Give me the rope. Give me the rope. You see that it's not too high. I mean, we're looking at. I mean, you're looking at two stories, and the chimneys are at the top of those two stories. I'd say it's maybe like 30 feet. Fine. All right, yeah, 50 should be fine. Give me the rope, quick. Let me see it. Give Where's it. Rope Come using? on. I I give him mine. I give him my right. 50 feet of rope. Wait, thanks, I have, alien. I have a pitten if you want to yeah, use that so... as a hook. Okay. Oh, you have a what? I think I also have a grappling a hook. A pitten. I do. I have a grappling hook. Okay, give me the hook. And give me the pitten, and then I'll just attach the two together. Okay, I do that. Okay. I have there a you hammer. As well. Do you need a hammer? But, oh, uh, <laughs> no. I have claws in my forehead. Okay, I want to fly up there and attach that gizmo together. So you, you tie the gizmo together to the chimney and are able to um, uh, drop the rope down for everyone to, ca uh, to grab it and catch up. All right, Clarion makes it up. I got a the 13. The weakest of the group. You made it. I'm going to go try to climb up the rope. You did not make it. You try kind of pull, try climbing up, but you don't, you don't make it. You kind of like... You can keep trying you, later. You catch yourself. You catch yourself, but you weren't able to make. My hand slipped, guys. I gotta, I gotta go wash my hands. I gotta go rub dirt. I know. All right, you make it up. All right, you make it up to the chimney, and you're sitting all over the chimney, and you're all sitting down looking at me, uh, midnight, wait, like rooting her on. <laughs> you make it up there. Everyone rejoices. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It took me a couple tries. All right, now you guys can see that these chimneys can actually um, fit you. So follow you. You make it down. Uh, Shadow, mm -hmm. and you made it down, left or right. All right. All right, uh, Clarion, you are falling through the chimney and you are you lose your grip uh, against the soot and Ooh. you fall down to the base. All right, awesome. So me... I only took four damage. Left or right? I choose oh. left. Scarlet, you made, right. you made the save and then uh, midnight. Okay, I'm except gonna go for Marion, and you successfully climbed the chi down the chimney. Marion and midnight. You, you find that the room is completely trash, leaving behind wrecked cots, chairs, tables, and other furnishings. Bartholomew, Shadow, and Scarlet, you all find... Hanging from a hook above its mantelpiece is a, is a steel shield bearing the symbol of Axel. It's a dwarven gauntlet clutching a hand axe. You also find cots, tables, chairs, and empty footlockers that are intact, but they are covered in dust. And with that, this is where we're going to call oh. it tonight.